Welcome collectors and HO enthusiasts. In episode 9 of the HO Files, we're going to be taking a look at two bottling plants. The one on the left is the HO Menards Pepsi bottling plant, and the one on the right is the Menards Sprecher Brewery. Uh, both of these buildings, as I mentioned, are made by Menards, and they are in 187 or HO scale. So the cool thing about these buildings, as you can see already from the footage that you're seeing in front of you, is not only do they have uh, some working lights, but they also have working features. Now the Menards uh, Pepsi plan, as you can see, there's three animated roof vents that spin in unison. And over there on the right in the Sprecher uh, Brewery, there is a light that blinks up on top of the uh, water tower and also an animated Sprecher sign as well. So really these buildings are quite cool which is obviously what you'd come to expect from the Menards buildings. Highly detailed. They each come with figures and accessories. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. We'll start off with the Pepsi bottling plant. So it doesn't come with any of the three trucks that, you've seen, uh, that you see in front of you, but it does come with the figures on here, as well as there's Jack the German Shepherd. So let's get the trucks done and get those out of the way first. So these are a Menards product as well. They're made by Denver Diecast, uh, which is the company that does the diecast for Menards. This is the Pepsi truck, Pepsi beverage truck, which is an international Durastar that is not licensed. But as you can see, that cab is clearly an international Durastar. And it appears as though this is the tooling from the Bowley and Scene Master beverage trucks. So they must have worked out some sort of uh, trade deal there to be able to use it. It is a pretty high quality model. And uh, there's even, you know, where the dolly would go back there. And it's mostly a metal piece with the cab being metal as well as the bottling, the, the beverage part being a metal piece. So this is offered in three different versions. The Pepsi version as well as Mountain Dew because Mountain Dew is owned by the Pepsi company. And then it's also offered in a Budweiser truck, which I do not own. So there is the Mountain Dew version. So I have two Pepsis and one Mountain Dew truck. All right, let's get started with the building as we can pull it a little closer. You can see that it has three loading bays, three truck loading bays that say do not park in front of door, obviously because that's where the trucks would back up into. This has three workers, Jack the German Shepherd, your animated Pepsi sign that blinks up here. All of these different lights are obviously illuminated. A couple different safety signs here and then your office entrance as well. This is your... Let me back this up just a bit. This is your uh, water tower that also blinks. This is what's really interesting about this building. Uh, in fact, both of these buildings have this feature. This is the one that has it removed. But you can stick this straight over your train tracks if you wish so that you can have your cars coming straight through the building if you wish to do that. There is a danger sign up here which reads clearance 15 feet. This side just has a bunch of different vents. On the roof, there's the three spinning in unison roof vents, which are very neat. And I'll unplug this for just a moment so that we can bring it around and see the last side. And here you have, again, some more vents and your plug in here as well. And on this side, you have a guy tending to the pipes up here, his little toolbox. And that's that. So that is the Pepsi bottling plant. Uh, again, made by, made by Menards. If you have an industrial park um, on your layout and you want a building such as this for a Pepsi bottling plant, uh, well worth the money. As you can see, it has a lot of different working features that have a lot of detail on it. And it's, it's not bad in terms of the price. So, that's the Pepsi plant. Let's transition to this one over here. This is, I believe the correct pronunciation is Sprecher Brewery. It was founded in Milwaukee in 1985. 
And what's really neat is this was the first craft um, brewery in Milwaukee uh, since Prohibition. So kind of an interesting tidbit there. Starting off with the front, you have the loading dock. Again, Jack the German Shepherd. Some figures here, some dollies. Obviously, they're carrying uh, some, some different components on the dollies there. Your Sprecher sign illuminates and flashes, and it reads up on top if it will focus established in Milwaukee. Coming over here, this is your side entrance, and obviously where you would plug the plug-in if you wanted to do it here. You can also plug it in underneath if you want to. This is what I was talking about on the uh, over there on the Pepsi plant. This section right here can be removed if you want to place this straight over your tracks and have your trains coming in and out of it. That's up to you. This side is relatively bare. It has you know your windows that are um, lit up, but other than that, pretty simplistic. Top once again has your water tower with a flashing light. And this side, again, has the other entrance where you would pop that piece out if you wanted to. As for accessories with this kit, I have a Tonkin Kenworth uh, reefer truck. Basically because the quick research that I did for this, I don't think Sprecher, and again, forgive me if I'm not pronouncing that correctly, uh, I don't think they have their own trucks or if they use LTL. Um, but I couldn't find any reference photos of their, you know, like you would obviously see uh, Budweiser or Miller Lite. You would see those trucks on the road. I have never seen a Sprecher truck, so I'm assuming that they just do, you know, the LTL type deal and uh, use other carriers. So I have this type of refrigeration unit parked out front. And uh, this particular model has your Thermo King reefer unit on the front of it. So it makes a nice little addition to have in front of a brewery. So there you go, collectors. That's both the Sprecher uh, Brewery, and as if you, you can probably hear it even over me yapping, but both of these, because it has an animated feature, they actually make a little bit of a noise. But to me, that's not too big of a deal. Obviously, when, you, when you're running trains and you have other things going on in the background, you're really not going to be able to hear it. But if I were to be quiet for two seconds, you can kind of hear that little bit of a, of a noise. And that's due to, again, the animated sign that's going on. And the Pepsi building does the same thing. So just be aware that you will have a little bit of noise. But again, if you're running any sort of trains or any other thing on your layout, uh, you're not going to be able to pick that up. But again, Sprecher Brewery, very nice building. And then the Pepsi... Uh, bottling plant as well. Slightly larger building, also pretty detailed, also has working features um, with the with the vents on top of the roof, with the water tower that lights up, all these different light, lights that light up as well. And again, the fact that both of these offer you the opportunity to run your track straight through them, which makes an impressive display as well. So there you have it, collectors. Thank you so much for watching Part 9. Let me know what you think about both of these buildings and if you have either of these in your collection or if you would like to add them to your display or collection. Until next time, I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in Part 10.